Let's deal with the hard part first and create a base mesh for future planks. Since the barrel is a vertically standing object, I've made the planks tall along the Z-axis. With the hard part done, let's now add details. The default value of 25 is a bit too much, but 10 is just fine for my taste. Don't forget to hit apply before moving forward. Let's activate Hero to add fine wood grain. I've turned off second displacement node for now and increased the resolution to 0 0.05. Let's also remove the mask and inverse nodes. Change the offset value to zero and move on to the noise texture. Increase the texture scale to eight and change the scale parameters of the texture transform node to two on the X and Y axis. Let's also turn on these checkboxes. Return to our texture and stretch it out along the Z axis. Let's modify it to make it look even more like wood. I'm using the default noise texture, but you can experiment with different ones. I'll stretch it as well. With the modifier slider, you can fine tune the modification amount. The first level is done. Let's turn on the second displacement node. Change the offset value to zero as before. As I want this layer to have a bit finer details, I'll change the texture scale to 12. Essentially, I'm doing the same thing as for the first layer, but with slightly different parameters. We can also use the color ramp node for tuning the texture's appearance. we can plug in the same texture as a modifier. I also want to smooth it out a little. Let's give our node tree a proper name. Now it's time to add more planks to the scene. I've removed Hero for now. With the Recall button, I can add the base shape object back. Let's place it next to the first one. Blender can repeat your last action, so let's use this feature and make more copies. Select all, with the damaged plank selected last, and press make damage. Got some errors, but they're easy to fix with the quick fix button. Let's move these planks to their own collection and apply Hero. I'm holding the control button to add Planks Hero node tree instead of creating a new one. I'm using a simple plane object as a container for all planks. It will be easier to deform them later as a group instead of deforming them one by one. Select Simple Deform Modifier. Set it to Bend and enter the bending angle you like. I'm using minus 30 degrees. Next, add a Bezier circle object. We will use it as a guide. Select 
this circle for the curve modifier, then scale it down to make it into a barrel shape. It's good practice to place objects in collections to be more organized and avoid a mess in the outliner. For the barrel lid, I'm going to use a Boolean modifier, so we need to create a shape to cut it from. I'll use a mesh circle object for that. Add more vertices for smoothness and scale it down to the size of the future lid. The next step is extrude, reset the position, and add a few objects for planks. Join planks together so we can use one Boolean modifier instead of three. Set it to fast, intersect, and then apply the modifier. Separate it into individual parts and reset the origin. I'm also placing them into their own collection. Add details as before. One thing I want to change is the scale of the details so that the lid planks look like they were made from the same tree as the barrel planks. To do that, you should simply drag and drop any plank object to the Hero Geonodes and connect it to the RefGeo input socket. Now, the wood scale is uniform across all parts. For the lid handles, I'll repeat the process. That's it for the wooden part. A few simple shapes, one hero setup, and you have a detailed wooden barrel. The next step would be the metal hoops.